What's going on guys, my name is Victor and today I'm back with another After Effects tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a mini version of yourself or your subject. This effect can be seen in many music videos, but I saw it recently in my roommate's music video that he directed for Kyle and it looks really good so I just wanted to teach you guys that effect. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is film your subject on a green screen. If you don't have a green screen, you can do this effect still, but you're going to have to rotoscope and rotoscoping can be very tedious. So I recommend the green screen, but you do you. Now, once you have your green screen footage, go ahead and open it up in After Effects. And the first thing that we're going to do is mask out the green screen part because we don't want anything else in frame if your green screen didn't take up the entire frame. And even if it did, sometimes I mask out just where the subject's going to be just so I can hopefully get a cleaner key. Search in the effects for key light one, two and add that because now we're going to key out the green. If you have a third party plugin that you prefer for keying out, go ahead and do your thing because I hate key light one, two. I have Red Giant's Primat keyer and I think it's a hundred times better than key light, but I don't want to show you how to do things that's going to cost you money. So we're just using After Effects stuff. Now I'm just gonna tell you the numbers that I went with for mine, but if you want an in-depth tutorial on how to use key light, I found a really good one here on YouTube taught by Chris Coart. You should check that out if you don't know how to use this. I selected the screen color dropper and selected that green color. Now change the view to screen matte so that you can see the blacks and the whites. I adjusted my clip black to 74 and my clip white to 89. But honestly, these numbers may be different for you depending on how good your green screen footage is. Now go ahead and switch the view to intermediate result. I adjusted my screen shrink to one and my screen softness to 0.7. I then changed the replace method to hard color. Now we're gonna go back to the effects and search for the one called advanced spill suppressor. After you've added that, we're gonna look up another effect called key cleaner. Go ahead and add that and then we'll start adjusting. I changed the edge radius to 1.2, clicked the reduce chatter box and lowered the strength to 31%. All right, after your subject is keyed out, now you're just going to go ahead and put in your background footage. I filmed my keyboard and I think that to really sell this effect you should have things in frame that we all recognize the size of so you can tell how small the mini version of your subject is. So I scaled down the subject and repositioned him to be on the D key. Now we're going to duplicate that subject layer so with it highlighted hold command and press D on the keyboard. Now you should have two versions of that subject so take that bottom one and make it a 3D layer by clicking that little box icon. Now we're going to flip its X rotation so you can type in 180 or even a little more because we're just going to flip the angle down. We're just trying to make the reflection. You can uncheck the little link box for the scale so that you can scale on one axis only. And so I did that so I could shrink my Y axis to make the reflection look a little more real. Now reposition the subject so that the shoes of the subject and the reflection are touching each other. Now with the reflection layer selected, grab the puppet tool and make a couple puppet points around the shoe. Now drag those points to the subject shoe so now the point of contact of the reflection looks more real. Pre-compose that reflection layer now and then make sure that that move all attributes box is clicked. I then switch the blend mode of that reflection layer to overlay which darkens it a little bit. Then I drew a mask around the D key so that the reflection just falls off. I wanted to darken the reflection a little bit more so I added Lumetri color and then lowered the exposure by two. And then the last step for that reflection was just adding Gaussian blur. My value was negative seven and then I made sure to click the box repeat edge pixels. Now there's a couple things that you should be aware of before you go out and shoot things for your video. The first thing would be the camera angle with its relative position of the subject and then also with what you're going to be putting that subject onto. So if I filmed me on the green screen, but the camera angle is down and looking up, that wouldn't work when I'm looking straight at the keyboard. It would look super wonky and not real. And also it wouldn't be a good composition if you weren't color matching your subject to match the scene. And then in my video, when the hand comes in to type, it bounced the keyboard a little bit. So I had to motion track the D key and then parent my subject to it so that it moved with it. And that is how you make a mini version of your subject. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.